updating you on a few things in the living room like a fireplace um radiator cover and also we've had a really exciting parcel arrive from ooh, decennio down there so i'm going to put those up today um and show you what they look like as well so we can't finally get in there we are we're currently doing loads of work so it's not finished and i will be doing a full living room tour when it is finished but i'll just update you on the little bits that we've had done since the last video and yeah i'll start going around and showing you some of the new bits Okay, so I'm just going to open my Decenio parcel. I've worked with Decenio before, but um, we wanted to get some more prints for in the living room and in the dining room. And so they've kindly gifted us some prints. And I'm really excited because these are large prints. So the ones that I had before, if you've seen in um, when I film in my like dressing room, the, the pink ones, they're lovely. And we made a giant gallery wall with loads of little prints. But this time we've gone for some more big, bold prints and i'm just really excited to see them now i've had some frames from them as well and i wanted to show you the frames because the last time we i had some from them i had a lot of decenio frames but i also got some off ebay and if i'm honest the ebay ones are good but you definitely get what you pay for okay so these are the sizes of the prints that we're going to have these are the 50 by 70 frames and we've had them with a white frame you can also have like oak black gold silver i had the gold frames on the ones in my dressing room so five big frames which is what majority of the box is and then these are the prints i always love how it comes and it says your artwork is inside and then this is the ones that we've had. For my friend's little girl, I've picked up this, which I absolutely loved. Um, so yeah, I've got that print for her. And then these are mine, and I've been so excited to see what they look like. So I'm not, I'm going I'll show you briefly, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the frames and put them on the wall. I think that's gonna be the best way to show you. But I've had like this design, if I can hold it up, and they are like reeds. Um, yeah, I'm just so, so excited to get these in the frames and get them off. Okay, so Decenio have kindly given me a code as well, which is Dudley40. So I will leave it here and I will leave it in the description box below. So I know that Decenio and everybody are probably going to have big sales around for Black Friday. So this is actually a code that is going to run before Black Friday. So you get an exclusive discount before the mayhem begins. So that will be valid from the 24th of November to the 26th of November. And you will get 40% off print so it doesn't include frames or hand-picked prints um so just bear that in mind but like i say i will leave that link below you can head over and beat the black friday sale rush so yeah don't forget to use that code 24th of november to the 26th of november for 40 percent off thank me later last time but the one thing i love about decenio frames is the mechanism on the back so they've got all these really strong like lever things that you push to get the frame out and it's so much better than you know when you get the frames that just have those little things that you lift back because i've had loads of them snap off so i love that about these frames which is why i decided to go and get the frames from them this time as well redo the radiator cover basically this is our radiator cover minus a few slats thanks to the kids playing football <laughs> and um on here i said we were going to do like a shelf for all the way across so he's just popped to go and grab some wood and then yesterday he did this so 
he put up one of the piece of timber that we had to do the curtains and i'll show you a little trick for making your curtains like that which um, i must remember too and then today i'm going to stain this here so if you haven't seen this is how the fireplace is looking i'm just going to clear off all the top um in fact let me do that now so today i'm going to coffee stain this on here so i actually saw this on lisa prado's instagram i don't know if you follow lisa she's a lovely lovely lady if you don't follow her channel already but i'm going to stain this because i want this to look more like the color of the floor and can you see there's like a slight difference so i've got all you do is mix up a bit of coffee and rub it in <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do now um and i'll show you what it looks like when it's finished so here's like a before um and we'll see what it looks like after so i just want to show you this because i think it looks so nice i've done one coat so it's probably still wet um i've just finished this end off so you can see how that bit's drying up there but can you see the difference like that is unstained that is stained that is much more close to like the floor color which is what we wanted so i'm going to do this next but all i've done is literally put some instant coffee in a bowl with water and a paintbrush and I've just been brushing it on and it's like crazy. I'll show you a little bit on camera. See, so yeah, I've just give it a quick clean and then I'm just gonna show you. So I literally dip a bit in the brush and that is literally it. Like I say, this is a bit wet, so it's going to lighten. But the one good thing as well is it smells beautiful because I love the smell of coffee. Um, so yeah, a natural way of staining. Really, really impressed you can see that's had two coats that's almost so much more close to the floor color but this is it this is off the third coat so that is how dark it looks when you first put it on and it will dry closer to that color but yeah already so much nicer so much close to the floor and then matt's just working on this over here he's just starting a new radiator cover he's currently putting a shelf up over here so we were going to have a radiator cover but we just thought we might as well just have a nice shelf. So this is actually an off cut from the radiator cover in there that I've shown you. And he's just going to route to the edge the same. So it matches. So I just thought I'd show you before and after because of how much difference it makes. And this is the router down here. It's actually my dad's. Um, but they're really easy to use and I really do think it makes so much difference. So I just thought I'd quickly show you the before and after. And he's going to go and do it now. I would film it, but he said he's getting a bit nervous on camera just in case it goes wrong. <laughs> so I'll show you it after. So this is the radiator cover that Matt's created. What do you think, Jacob? Is it nice? Yeah, he's, he loves it. It's so warm on here. So this is the radiator cover Matt has built. And the reason we've done this is for a few reasons. So it actually cost about £55 to build. Is it about 55 Yep. Yeah which is pretty much how much you would pay to get one pre-made but there's a couple of things that i really wanted so i wanted it higher off the floor so i can get my vacuum underneath which might sound really stupid but we have cats so we really need to be able to access underneath to hoover because otherwise you have like a tumbleweed of cat hair like all the time and then the other thing i wanted is i wanted a bigger gap here to put, let more heat in but also for this so uh when we used we had a radiator cover it kind of went up to the windowsill so i don't know if you can see in here the old window ledge and it kind of went up and met that ledge so it kind of couldn't go to the wall all the way so what we've done is we've put a top that goes from the edge of the radiator cover all the way to the window and then that just makes a really nice window sill as well and i really love the idea of being able to sit on here and look out the window because we do have like quite a lovely view over there um so not so much at the moment but that's from the kitchen um and yeah i just really really liked this and yeah really pleased and really proud of him for doing that we just bought some solid wood and i actually coffee stained this i don't know if that is in this vlog um, but i will show you how i did that um and then that is just painted with my old faithful move lucas's trainer um quick dry satin wood this is like i use this for everything it's amazing it's such a good alternative to gloss because it's water based and yeah that is what i painted it with because it, it just wears really well being a mid sheen and jacob loves it and we love it don't you jacob 
Do you like it? <laughs> it's just loving life, aren't you? You just love life. Um, this is another edition that we've just put in. So this is the B&M mirror. This was £35 from B&M and I absolutely love it. Um, put in. And it does need to clean because we've only just put that up, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's another little update that we've had in here. Um, what else have we updated? Oh, Matt has done the coving as well. So that actually does need to be painted still. It's not finished. It's not finished. And we've put up the curtain rail as well. I really wanted like a big chunky piece of wood on the curtain rail just to match everything. So it will match the fireplace. I'm going to show you the fireplace in a second. I just need to clear it off a little bit. Um, but yeah really really pleased with how it's looking um can i show you the fireplace let me just move this um the fireplace was from aldi in the end i bought one off amazon and it just i had nothing but problems with it so we switched it out for this one from aldi so i will link this below if they've still got it in my little plant from aldi and my little candle from aldi as well and we painted this brickwork white just using some wilco masonry paint but like i say i'll go through everything when i do the tour um, but this is an update on how this is looking because Matt has finished the false wall as well with our little shelves in and it's just looking so much better. We've got our wing backs to build today which we're going to do and also really exciting packages just arrived from Decenio. So Decenio have kindly sent me out some prints. They are going to go on that wall over there and this wall here. So I'm hoping that's our old sofa. <laughs> So I'm hoping that we're going to do that today and show you putting those up. Um, really excited to see how they look and getting some finishing touches up. Okay, so we're actually just going to unbox our wing backs or just at least one of them. But I thought before I do that, I'm just going to quickly show you the shelf that Matt has done because this is how it has turned out routed now. So this is how it makes the edge look basically. And I really like how that's turned out. I've actually coffee stained this three times now so I've coffee stained all the wood and I really really like it because it's matches more the floor and the table I mean they're not exact but I just really really like them so I'm happy and before I put the chair up I just wanted to show you the decenio pictures so these are what we have picked for the dining room and I am in love with them it took us forever to pick some so basically what we did is we sat down and we went through the whole website and we just picked our favorites and then we cross-referenced our favorites so these are the ones we went with these are 50 by 70s and we had three and we had the white frames so a eucalyptus a reed and then is that a banana plant i can never remember or is it a peace plant but yeah i really really love those I love how you can see the reflection of our lights in the pictures as well. That's really nice. So we went for something very plain because we wanted three big ones, but we didn't want it to look too much. So that is what they look like in here. And then moving into the living room. So these are the ones we picked for the living room. And these are the reed. I think they're called reed one and reed two, is it? I think so. Um, reads in the wind or something like that. Um, but I really liked these. That one looks a lot greyer on camera, but they are very like, there's lots of beige, beige and white and creams in there. And I just really think it went with the wall really nicely. And we're just gonna have a cream sofa in here. So I wanted to keep it quite natural and plain. And yeah, so just like I say, ignore the sofa. <laughs> but that is what they are looking like. Oh, again, 50 by 70s in a white frame, those were.
<laughs> so this is it built and I love it. I think it goes so nice in here. Look at this little corner. So we have actually got two of these. Now I do love just the one in the corner, but the idea was that we're gonna have a four seater Chesterfield across here. So we wanted to have me and Matt to have some seats ourselves because normally the sofa's taken over by the boys. <laughs> so I don't know whether we're gonna have two over here or one either side, because we were gonna have like a sideboard here. So yeah, I just thought I would show you what that's looking like. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Such a bargain. I will leave the price below, but I think we paid £150 for it, um, which is so, so good for um, a wing back chair. So that is it, guys. That's a bit of an update on the living room. Um, we've got majority of mirrors and pictures and things like that up now, and the finishing touches. We're just waiting for the sofa to arrive on the 5th of December, and then I'm hoping to do a room tour. It might be new year because i obviously want to do a get the tree up and everything so i'll probably do a decorate with me and then i will do a room tour when everything's down and everything's fresh and nice I'll leave it here now i will leave all the information for decenio below if you wanted to use my code dudley40 to get the 40 percent off and yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's coming along. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.